Hello, it's Aries Ari and back with a new video. I did not do last week's video because um too busy. Sorry. But today I'll be talking about Shane Dawson's series The Mind of Jake Paul and my thoughts about it. If you hear noise in the background, it is a person that is doing um construction, so sorry about that, but yeah, let's keep going on the video. So, my thoughts on the series. I hated it in the beginning, because obviously I had a feeling with Jake Paul. I was like, mm, I don't like him, he's kind of annoying, he, I, I don't think this is going to work. But, me being... Shane Dawson supporter and fan, I decided to give it a chance. So, I watched it, and I, after a while, was like, oh, okay, okay. I'm getting into it, I'm getting into it, and then, like, the cliffhangers will give me, like, oh my god, what's the next, when's the next episode, when's the next YouTube video, and I was getting all, like, like, ugh, I don't know, I was getting all anxious and stuff. So, yesterday was the, fina the finale which was the last video, and it was like an hour and something long. And um, he also did the day before, I think it was on Tuesday, he did an interview with Alyssa Violet, and honestly, I don't know who's telling the truth at this point, because she would say stuff that she didn't say in her video with FaZe Banks, or the video with like her personal video, and then she, it, it kind of like, was a different story that she gave Shane Dawson, but hey, I don't know who's telling the truth, so I'm not there. But the last video kind of got me. I was like, hmm, maybe Jake Paul isn't as an asshole as I thought he was. Sorry for the dramatic pause, but I don't know. I believe in giving people chances, and I always believe that people need chances in order to improve so you know after this series I did not subscribe to Jake Paul I'm not a Jake Pauler but I am waiting to give him a chance and I watched one of his videos willingly it was I was scared because I was like a lot of people in the comments were like I just clicked on a Jake Paul's video without hesitant or I just clicked on it willingly and I'm like well me too I in the end my final thoughts of the thing was I loved it it gave me um, it gave me some sort of clear like clarity of like who we saw I think I hope we saw the real Jake Paul not like the fake one the, the one that's crazy that has a 12 year old mind I feel like we saw Jake Paul the 20 years of, I don't know what his real age is, but I feel like we we saw the real him, I think, I hope, I'm bright, I did. Um, but, I, I don't know, there's a lot of tea spilled, spilled the tea, I love that, and, um, I don't know, a lot of people say that they hate, they hated it, but in my opinion, I love that. It gave me clarity. It gave me something that I never thought I would like. And it, the whole thing was not to pity Jake Paul. It was about to see if he was a sociopath. But um, I'm glad he kind of did it. I'm glad Shane Dawson did it. Because, you know, he's going out of his comfort zone. And he did something that people said not to do. And he did it anyways. So mad respect to Shane Dawson for that. And, um... Yeah, so I love Shane Dawson's um, The Mind of Jake Paul series, just like the Jeffrey, the sequel to Jeffree Star series. Like, it's funny because I hated these people in the first beginning, and I hated them a little bit through the out the series, and then in the end I was like, okay, maybe I could kind of like them. I don't like like them, but I could kind of like them a little bit, a little bit more than I did before. It's not like full on hatred. Thanks, Carp. Just, just, okay. <laughs> um, okay, so enough of the Jake Bosses. Just cut down to a different thing, which is GSA. I still am a person that is in GSA. 
which is uh, my school's club and only club I think not only club but I think our club is so much better I'm joking <laughs> I'm joking maybe maybe not you don't know that but GSA is still going good we don't I don't know how much follows we have on our thing but I think we have a pretty decent amount and um, if you guys do not know our Instagram account, um, I'm about to show you right now. Hold up. Oh my god, Kobe Brock posted. Sorry. Not, he po he's posted on the story. Okay, so this is GSA. <laughs> I have a huge crush on Kobe Brock, I'm sorry. Okay, this is our account. Yeah. And... Here are some of our posts. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. And oh, there is one where we posted a picture of the coming out day. It was it was it was cool because some people came out on that day. And as of right now, we have twenty eight followers. She twenty eight. And thirty profile visits in the last seven days. So. If you want to check it out, check it out. And if you want to follow us, please do. And I have my personal account, but I'm not that kind of YouTuber, guys. I keep looking this way because I'm looking at myself in, like, the screen when I'm supposed to be looking at the freaking camera. So, yeah, I'm, I'm weird. Sorry. I do a lot of hand movements when I talk. For some reason, I end up doing this. It's a habit of mine. I don't know why I do it, but it's something I'm going to keep doing for like the rest of my life so <laughs> um we did proact we did a lot of things today well i'm not gonna get into it most likely i will we're starting a fundraiser our fundraiser thing is like we need like stuff to like do events and get more like and get more links to go do stuff out of the school and do its community so we could get public get publicly or something but not like famous but like you know what I mean kind of I hope but we I what I envisioned on doing was do like a freaking pride our own pride parade at school because we can't go to pride as a club because um that's not beneficial to the school apparently but I decided to say like, why don't we make our own so we might be making our own but we need a fundraiser for it. So, we're going to do that in our NCPA. Oh my god. I, I, we, fingers crossed. We get approved and we could do all of the things we planned. Because we have a lot of ideas. It's so good. We'll do like seasonal um, fundraisers. Like for each season. We're going to do like fundraisers for each season. Because I think for Halloween we're going to do like scary, like scary marshmallows that are shaped like ghosts. Um, candy apples that are like poison apples but not really poison but caramel apples whatever and like oh something else uh, i think it was sugar scary cookies didn't it? i don't know and there's a lot of things for it and we have a lot of things for christmas valentine's um thanksgiving saint patrick's day april fools and yeah <laughs> it's so weird and yeah i love gsa oh i forgot to mention i am the vice president of the GSA. <laughs> and um and I'm I don't know, but I'm going to tell you re one of the reasons why I joined GSA. The reason why I joined GSA was because my bisexual teacher from ninth grade when she was still there wanted to start a club called GSA Gay Straight Alliance and I was so down because I didn't know a lot about the LGBTQ community and I wanted to learn more because I wanted to get out and understand who they are because a lot of people would tell me, oh, they're evil, they're nasty, they're like this, they're mean, they're bratty or whatever. They tell me all these bad things and I'm like, let me, let me see for myself. <laughs> so I decided to help her with the thing and I was one of the first people that helped her. It was me. So, Penelope, three musketeers, <laughs> and um, we just started from there, and then we got more people, and now we're still a good 
groups it but we need more people to join so that's why i most likely would promote gsa every time i do a video because i want us to get out there more <laughs> and yeah <sighs> this video is so long oh my god it's 10 13 this, this is a long ass video but yeah so that's my thoughts of the series of shane dawson which i don't think i talked about a lot but a good amount of it and i talked about the gsa which was my goal into the next video hopefully if i do it i'm going to talk about my like something about school about my school um like little little things that happened to me in school so stay tuned for those videos so it's very sorry and um stay cool stay positive and embrace your zodiac because I'm embracing mine as of now. So, yay! See you next time I post a video, which I hope is next week. Peace. Bye!